John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're taking a first look at the brand new Fender Tone Master Pro. So really glad that Fender came out with this piece of gear because I think this is kind of what a lot of us have been waiting for. Very intuitive bit of gear. I'll get all into it after you take a second to subscribe below. That way we can keep you up to date on all the cool new gear that's out there. So let me tell you about how we're recording it. This is my old 55 Strat and I'm running, simplest setup ever, I'm just running directly into the Tone Master Pro and with two XLRs I'm running into an Apollo 8 and that's going into Logic and then out to you all. I'll also try my old Gretsch Black Falcon and my old Tele so you can see what it does with those guitars as well. Fender's Max Gutnick who helped develop the Helix for Line 6 was a key member of the development team for the Tone Master Pro. And one thing that they really stress is fast processing. There's an 8-core processor that is so fast that it virtually eliminates any latency. So there's a smooth transition between presets. So what does it for me is the ease of use. These really function like an amp. So I came in on the 65 Deluxe, which is just kind of a comfort place for me. What I love about it, unlike other modelers where you have to kind of, they feel like a computer, this just feels like an amp. Say I want a little bit more treble. Right there, I can spin it in real time. More verb, no problem. It's all right there. Say I want a different cabinet. Easy enough. Switch that. I can switch the mic placement or replace the cabinet altogether. I want to go for something like, uh, okay, let's go for this super. Man, I like that better. See, I get it where I like it. Switch it out like that. Save. Okay, then come back here. Let's say I just want to go with a different amp altogether. Hit that. Look at this. You've got everything. I'll just slowly scroll down here. So it's all the Fendry stuff. But then it gets into Voxy bits. Roland, Marshall, kind of everything you could hope for. So what's really exciting is not only they have all these classic amps, but right down here, this is the first officially licensed EVH 5153 Stealth. So for some of you, uh, this is going to be a huge selling point un unto itself. So I love the easy use. When you're adjusting an amp, it is just pretty much like adjusting an amp. But they've carried that even further with your effects. Let's go to a different setting like the Jimmy one. Okay, you've got all your effects right here. Say you want to tweak those. Easy enough. Um, let's add in right there. Okay, the Univibe. Okay, first we'll turn it on. Say the intensity is too much, just roll it down. Once you got it where you need it, exit, and then you can turn it on and off as you want. Uh, or any of the other effects. It is just, it's like having your pedal board right there. Now, say you want to try the Univibe in a different place, like put it in front of the amp. No problem. There you go. And you can actually really hear the difference. So talk about ease of use. Essentially, you've got Jimmy's pedal board and you can flip through them like that, go over here, and you have access to all these different banks. Right there. So this is what I did coming in with the, with the Deluxe, with the Van Halen, with the Edge, with the Hendrix. But amazingly, so they have, I think there's like 130 presets and amazing sounds in there, but there's 
504 places to store your own sound. So you could build any kind of combination or tweak these to get the combination you'd like for a song and then save it as a set list on top of that. So a really practical approach for the working musician. And let me just go through some of these. You heard a bit right here. These are, this lets you scroll through the bank. Over here, you can bank up or bank down. So we'll go up here. Okay, let's see this. This is, uh, okay, cliffs of kind of a uh, uh, Eric Johnson kind of thing. There's a ton of them. Look at, like, for instance, this. ear candy there to keep you busy forever but wait there's so much more let's talk about this looper so this 60 second stereo looper is so easy just hold down this switch right here and you're in it and fact that you can come in with one amp setting, one preset, get your loop going, switch to any one of these 504 options and build it forever. So really nailed it. Very easy and intuitive. They also have a half speed reverse, all those kind of bells and whistles that you'd expect in a great looper. Okay. The most important pedal on my pedal board is the tuner. And this has got a really good one. Just hold down that bottom switch. And there you are. And it is really accurate and really quick. So up to this point, we've been focusing on the functionality, but really what sets this thing apart is the tones. Okay, for instance, this preset, right here you got cold shot. <laughs> Let's hear a few more sounds. I'll put on a different guitar. All right, this is my old thin line telly. Let's hear their chicken picking setting. That sounds appropriate. <laughs> You get the idea. That sounds, that sounds very chicken picking. Let's see some more. Okay. Stereo Princeton.
Okay, let's try some more. Okay, this is Slow Burn. <laughs> Hey, just for funsies, let's try out the Gretsch. Okay, this is my Gretsch Black Falcon. Let's just try some of these spacey things. Okay, look at this. This is uh, deep space. <laughs> look at how many effects are in this chain. <laughs> so it's got everything. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> That's a fun little ethereal bit. Let's try some of these other ones. How about this? This is twin fried EVH. I wonder what that does. <laughs> You've got all the goodies on there, like for instance, a phaser. <laughs> That is about as easy as it gets. Okay, let's try this one, Wide Eddie. <laughs> What I love about this, it gives me like all these tones that, I mean, I've never really, I've never really found. They don't really come up a lot, but great to have the, all those, you know, colors in your, uh, in your toolbox, right? So although it has every effect and amp I could imagine using, it also has four loops so you could integrate your own pedals into it if there's something you're really attached to. And on top of that, those can be integrated into your presets. So they really thought of everything. Um, as I'm running it right now with the XLR uh, straight into the Apollo, that's, that's ideal for recording, but say I wanted to use it live, I could either run it to, a, to front of house and monitors, or I could do it into a flat response amp, have it behind me, and it would just get all these great sounds. Or I could just run it into any conventional amp and use it as a, as a uh, effects board alone. It's compatible with the Tone Master Pro Control desktop app for editing, sharing, and downloading presets. There's also Bluetooth wireless connection for streaming audio from other mobile devices. There's a quarter inch headphone jack for silent practice, and it only weighs nine pounds, comes in at about $1,700. So good on you, Fender. I really feel like you kind of cracked the code on this. This is a 
This is a modeling system for people that are more into amps and pedal boards. Really good fit for, for a person like myself. So read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you subscribe to our social media stuff, subscribe to YouTube channel, maybe subscribe to the magazine, have it sent to your house. We'll keep you up to date on all the cool gear that's out there. This is John Bolger, till next time, let's try, okay, let's try Clean Machine. <laughs>